is it okay to want to be skinny? Is it okay to want to lose weight? Not because you want to feel good and you know be healthier, but simply because you want to look better? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney Holcomb and I am author of the book, One Year, 100 Pounds. For those of you who are new here, I lost 100 pounds on my own when I was 14 years old and I've kept it off for over 20 years. For those of you who have watched my videos before, you know that I am very much anti-fat acceptance, not, not health at every size because it's just not true. And I know from my own experience personally that I was not happy nor healthy at 230 pounds. And I've also said before in my videos that Look, the main motivation as a 14 year old girl for why I wanted to lose weight, it was mostly because I wanted to look good because I wanted to have a different life. I wanted to feel more confident. I wanted to fit in. I wanted to wear the clothes I wanted to wear that I couldn't when I was overweight. Um, I did want to be healthy for sure. That was part of it. But if I'm honest, I was a 14 year old girl. You know, most 14 year old girls, they care about fitting in and looking good. And that was my main motivation. It was. My main motivation was to look good. My main motivation even now in working out, a lot of it is because of the physical. I, you know, I'm not going to lie. Does it mean that I, I don't like being healthy, that I would not do these things if I, if I didn't look this way or if I couldn't look the way I wanted to? No, I, I generally love being healthy. Um, that is what my weight loss journey taught me, actually. Even though it was driven by, I guess what you would call vanity, uh, it had eventually it opened me up to a love for health and fitness. And again, as you get older, you realize why being healthy is, you know, again, even more important. But the reality is, like I said, I, I wanted to look good. And I know that that is, you're not supposed to say that now today. Now it's toxic for you to say that. Now it's diet culture for you to say that. You set a bad example. You know, if you want to lose weight, it has to be only because you just want to be healthier and you want to feel more confident with yourself. Um, and that's awesome. And I, and I think those are, those are great reasons. Okay. Maybe there, there really are some people who really don't care about what they look like. And that's awesome. I'm not saying that's wrong, but I'm just saying, I think for most of us, especially as women who are judged very harshly for our appearance, we want to look good. We do it because we want to fit into a certain dress size. We want to feel better about ourselves. And a lot of times feeling better about ourselves is looking our best or looking as good as we can. And you know, I, I just find it so interesting and, and strange that again, these people in the body positivity, body positive movement who are all about, you know, yeah, if you have some roles here and you're overweight with whatever, you know, Oh, you're beautiful and you're fine. That's amazing. Um, but as soon as you see someone who loses some weight or especially if it was someone who wasn't like super unhealthy overweight, they were just maybe kind of like, you know, uh, what's that term? Like soft, soft fat or skinny fat or something, skinny fat, I think. Anyway, so maybe they were not like unhealthily overweight, but they had, you know, a few pounds they, they could lose. Like they just wanted to be a little bit leaner or more in shape. Um, and, you know, and then they show their progress pictures. Like, I'm sure you guys have seen these before. And it's like the comments are like, oh, you looked better before, or oh, this is so toxic. Now, you know, you're setting a bad example for girls, even though they look perfectly healthy in their after photos. And in my mind, you know, half the time they look amazing. They look really good. Um, yeah, you know, I, I just don't understand. I, I think it's so, crazy that again, these same people who say that you should not judge people on their appearance are very much judging these girls on their appearance and very much sending them hate. And I just have to ask, you know, why is it so bad that you would want to lose weight for aesthetic reasons? And again, I'm not talking about, you know, people who take it too far and have an ED or, you know, are hurting yourself. Cause that's a whole different thing. That is, you know, that is, not good and i would never support that and i understand from from that aspect if you take it too far and you judge your entire self-worth on your appearance and how skinny you are yes that is bad but i think for the reality for most of us that's not what it is i think it's no different for a lot of us then you know what i'm kind of tired of my hair and i think i want to get a haircut or i want to dye a different color and just because it makes you feel better you want to change you want to upgrade your appearance and i think the same is with your body too. I, I mean, again, you might be a perfectly normalish, healthy size, but you know, you also know that you've been drinking too much wine during the week 
and you know, you've been overindulging in like some sweets. You could be healthier. You could work out more and you could be a little bit leaner and fitter just because you want to be, because you want to be. And you probably will feel better not only on the inside, but on the outside as well. And it will probably, you know, have other major effects in your life as far as, you know, instilling more discipline in you, you probably have more energy. But again, even if your main motivation is just to fit into smaller jeans, why is, why is that so bad? Why? I, I don't understand. And so I thought about this topic for the video because I keep seeing on TikTok, there are so many, I, I saw the videos about her before I actually saw the girl, um, Liv Schmidt. I don't know if you guys are familiar with her, but I've seen so many videos about these girls just, oh yeah, you know, Liv Schmidt, she talks about, you know, you girls should, you know, have eating disorders and, oh, you know, she, I'm eating this burger because Liv Schmidt told me I couldn't like, I, I mean, I don't know, like all these weird videos like just bashing her saying that she is promoting so much toxicity and this and that so i was like okay well i you know check her out and I, you know when i checked her out the first thing you notice she's like a beautiful girl she's you know smoking hot she's like typical influencer she's very very thin um and look i i don't know i've not gone through all of her videos but i i went through a lot of them and the only thing i can really see is she talks about or she uses the terminology skinny um which again is is interesting it's like skinny is like a, a bad or shameful word um but she talks about oh this is like what i eat in a day to stay skinny and when she shows you her food i mean a lot of it just seems like normal healthy stuff she's like oh i you know drink a protein thing a protein shake every morning and then i have this for lunch and then i have lots of water and electrolytes because it keeps you feeling full she talks about you know going for walks and doing power yoga um Again, I, everything I've looked for, I was looking for things like, okay, maybe this girl is really toxic. Maybe she's telling girls like, you just need to eat a cube of cheese and then, you know, and fill up with water for the rest of the day. And then if you feel like you're gonna faint, eat another cube of cheese. Like that like scene from Devil Wears Prada where Emily Bont was like, yeah, I lost weight because I got a stomach flu and I eat cheese. I mean, anyway, that's what I thought it was. I thought that, okay, this must be what they're talking about because these videos that were made about her were like super intense and like I, blaming this girl for all their eating disorders. I, I don't know, it was just really bizarre. Um, and again, just watching her stuff though, all she's really saying is just like, you know, look, if you wanna be skinny, if you wanna be thin, like this is what I do. And probably because people were asking her, they probably saw her as body goals, which I mean, she's thin. She does not look unhealthily thin to me. She, you know, again, she looks like a model. And I kind of wonder if it's more that they are upset that she's so beautiful <laughs> versus that they are upset that she is being supposedly toxic. Um, you know, I don't know. Again, those were, I've not seen every single one of her videos, but those were just some of the videos I, you know, I skimmed through. And I think that were she any other influencer, maybe if she were like a fitness influencer instead, or even if she were just another influencer, like a body positive influencer who was telling you how they're trying to get healthy, I bet if those same influencers said the same stuff she did, which is, oh, drink a protein smoothie in the morning and, you know, drink some electrolytes to confuse your body and then get 10,000 steps in because it's it's healthy for your heart. If they said it in that terminology, coming from a body and a person who wasn't beautiful, I bet it wouldn't have been considered toxic. I, I bet you more than anything. I would, I, I would die on that hill, actually. Because again, everything I saw from her, I, I don't know, I, I could not see anything that was super unhealthy about it i mean she was actually saying some pretty based normal stuff um again you know if you want to lose weight look a certain way um yeah i mean it, I, if anything it's just more honest i think it's more honest than someone who looks like that and then says yeah i eat pizza every day and then you know i just binge eat all the time um it's just not true because we know this like you cannot look that way if you are overeating on a regular basis and again i think she is making these videos because I think people are curious. I think that there are a lot of girls that are struggling with their weight, um, which is not uncommon because in, in Western society, our, our diets are really bad. It, it is really hard to, to maintain a, a slim figure um, if you are eating the typical Western diet because it is just overloaded with calories, it's addictive. So I, that is why so many people are struggling to not only lose weight, but to keep it if they are continuing that lifestyle. And I think she makes these videos because there is a need for that. So many girls are looking for that. They, you know, they want to, they want to look better because they want to feel better. So why is that so wrong? Um, especially if you're doing it in a healthy way. Again, I'm not advocating for doing anything unhealthy, but 
you know, yeah, what, what is so wrong for wanting to change your appearance in that way, for wanting to be a little bit thinner because maybe you do want to fit the beauty standard. And look, I understand that should not be your full motive in life because you're never going to fit the beauty standard. It's always changing and it's a lot of it's just impossible. But I mean, look, the reason I do my hair and makeup is because I want to look better than I normally do. Um, I think there is nothing wrong with that. I don't think it means, like, I'm definitely not trying to compete with, like, these 20 year old influencers. It just means I want to improve my appearance. I, I, I want to present myself in a certain way. Um, and sometimes being thin is that. I mean, yeah, you know, again, I'm on the same journey right now. Like I am trying to get to a certain size just because I know that's just how I like my body best. And I, I feel better at that. And so if that is also your goal, I think you should be able to do that without feeling any shame because I, there is no shame in that. But you know, also if, if that's not your goal, if you don't care about being thin, that's fine too. Um, I, I don't, again, I, I think that a lot of people when ask this girl specifically, or they go after people like me, even who just, you know, say they want to be fitter because they want to look better. Um, they almost go after these people as if it's like a reflection on them, as if like you're saying like, oh, because you're not thin, you're not worthy or you're ugly. And I, I don't know that that's not it at all. I mean, again, it's like going after this girl, it's almost like they're saying that she's like bullying them. Again, at least from the videos I saw, I did not see that. All she said was just like, hey, look, this is how I stay skinny. I walk 10,000 steps a day. I eat a protein shake in the morning and I, you know, I eat veggies for lunch. I don't really eat a lot of dessert. Like everything she was saying sounded just pretty normal. I mean, it sounded pretty healthy, but it is so ironic too, because most of the backlash or most of the complaints um, are coming from other women and they always are, it, whether you are too skinny or too fat, most of the comments, the negative comments come from other women. So the thing is I realize as someone who has been, I've been really skinny before, I've been obviously really fat before, I, people will judge you no matter what you look like, people will always have something to say. And it's almost like these other women are judging other women for wanting to fit a beauty standard and you know going after them but at the same time if these girls didn't fit that beauty standard if they you know were overweight or they didn't do their hair they didn't do their makeup and then they went online guess who would be in the comments telling them oh girl you know you need to wear some sunscreen because you have age spots or oh you should really consider getting filler um or you know ooh, you know you look like you gained some weight it would be other women that's what i find you know hilarious so it's like, again, no matter what you do as a woman, like you can't win. Um, and that's why I just think like, hey, do what you wanna do. If you wanna dye your hair blue, that's awesome. Um, if you want to lose weight, that's also fine. Um, I think that's real body positivity, isn't it? Isn't that what it's supposed to be about? About just accepting everyone as they are, who they want to be. Maybe don't take everything so personally. Like just because someone else says that they're happy being skinny and they want to be skinny, it has nothing to do with you. So I, you know, I don't know why that should trigger so many people. Like it, it, well, I do know why it triggers you because you probably actually are not happy with how you are. And you probably actually do want to fit that beauty standard, but you feel like you can't. And so anyone who does fit that beauty standard or anyone who is trying to attain that beauty standard, you want to tear down to your level. And, you know, I think it is a very feminine urge to want to look our best. Um, again, whether that's, fitting the beauty standard, you know, trying to do our hair a certain way or trying to be thin, whatever it is. Um, again, because we are judged so harshly for our appearance and whether it's because, yeah, I mean, whether it's because we're actually trying to fit into a beauty standard or it's just because it's what we like to do. I, I think that is just a natural feminine thing. We just, I don't know, we like to play with our appearance. Um, I mean, for some people, it's not about fitting the beauty standard. Some, you know, I mean, some people like you have like girls who, like I said, like dye their hair blue or get nose rings or whatever. They do it, they're modifying themselves because they think it looks better for them. And no one says anything about that or to them. Like they're seen as like being unique or creative. Um, but I think it's the same thing. And I think it's actually, I mean, almost unfeminist to bash other women for caring about their appearance or for wanting to fit into a beauty standard when we know that, look, it's just the reality. Society does judge you, it does judge us. So why are you so upset that other women, I mean, they want to they want to present themselves in the best light. Is what it comes down to, I think. I think it's very unfeminist actually to say that our pursuit of being thin or being beautiful is trivial. I, I just I, I don't think that's true. I think that that is saying like, oh, like you know, you silly girl. That's all you have in your head is caring about hair and makeup and 
and, and as we know, you can be both beautiful and smart at the same time. You can be both skinny and strong at the same time. Just like I think you can be fat and beautiful at the same time. Or, you know, yeah. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I just had to get that little rant out. Um, yeah, because like I said, I, I saw those videos about that girl and I... And as soon as I saw her, I was like, okay, I think I know what's really going on here. <laughs> I think it has more to do with the fact that she is everyone's insecurity. She is the beautiful blonde cheerleader from high school, right? Um, but anyway, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like content like this, then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.